Hey guys, what's slicing everyone? Uh, Chris here with CAC Knives with just a quick video here today. Not a review, I just want you guys to be aware of these two really good deal knives that are gonna go fast at the time that I recorded the video. They weren't sold out yet. Um, that could change when this releases on Monday. Um, but yeah, I, <clears throat> I was sick. I wanted to get this video done sooner, but I wasn't able to because I kind of lost my voice. You can kind of still tell I've lost my voice a little bit. But um, <clears throat> like I said, the reviews of these knives will come later. But I wanted you guys to be aware of these and the incredible deal you can get these at. First up here, we got the new Finch Flint the first knife that I have ever seen that is a more modernized folding knife that has kieranite on it. This thing is freaking sweet. Oh, I love it. And it's a much bigger knife compared to a lot of other Finch knives. Finch is a great company. Um, they're not made in the USA, but they are definitely designed and... They are quality controlled, and unlike a lot of other knives with these words associated with them, these knives are always under 150 bucks that I've seen anyways, with the exception of a few of them that maybe linger around 200 But this is an exclusive, okay? Let me get the, uh... <clears throat> should have had the box open here. Like I said, guys, excuse my, excuse my voice here. All oh, the stickers for traditional pocket knives is, must be in the box, unfortunately. But that's where you go to get these, traditionalpocketknives.com. It's the only place that has this knife in Kieranite. To my knowledge, Case is the only other company that has used this material. This very beautiful material for knives in pretty much all cases, the... The ones made by case or just traditional knives this is the first time you can get one with a titanium clip on it and on traditional pocket knives if you're new to the website sign up for their rewards program you'll save an additional six dollars just like i did and this ended up only being about 139 dollars shipped to my house which is an incredible deal for Kira Knight. And the knife is in 154 CM. This thing, it's beautiful in person. And it's definitely a knife I wanted you to be aware of. <clears throat> Especially considering you can get it for a little over 135 bucks. Austin over traditional pocket knives also has some of the best, if not the best customer service in the knife community out there. A review of that knife will come later. This is another thing I wanted you guys to be aware of. This is a very interesting knife to the eye and it's only going to appeal to some. You can also get this knife with, just think of all the gold being removed and that just being plain titanium with a strip of Timascus. Yes, Timascus in the middle the light kind of helps show that it is real Timascus and not just simply, you know, basic anodized titanium. I'm doing my best there. White Mountain Knives, at the time of this recording, had some of these in stock. Um, this is the TS-172. And White Mountain Knives also kind of had a hidden sale going on when I ordered mine which made it cheaper already. It brought it down from the price tag of 170 down to about 135, 140. And then I used the code LTK from the YouTube channel, Love Them Knives, to save an additional 10% on this knife. Guys, this is, <clears throat> uh, it's a great deal. I, I can't, I can't exaggerate how great of a deal this is. And it's an M390 
blade steel, which is a super steel, full titanium with a titanium clip and a titanium backspacer with strips of Timascus in the middle, not to mention Tucson is a very good knife company. And they've even, you know, they've milled out the insides. It is fairly heavy because these are some thick pieces of titanium, but they have milled as much out on the inside as they can, as I'll try to show better when I do the review. But this knife is absolutely incredible. Has some fillers there for some reverse flick. A, a great deal <clears throat> for what ended up being about the same price as this. I actually think this was a little cheaper, which is crazy. If this knife is sold out on White Mountain Knives, the eBay for the Tucson Company, D-W-I-N-9-9, posts knives like this. Sometimes you can get it in crystallized like green or blue as well instead of the gold. I like gold on knives, and I love Timascus, so this was almost an instant win for me. But that might not be your style. They also often have the plain titanium ones, and this knife has become so popular that at one point I messaged them on there because I was trying to get this knife myself on their eBay page because at one time that was the only way you could get it and I messaged them and they said they were sold out which is crazy to me to think you know wow that sold out that fast like a lot of people were liking this knife and liking this design and I can understand why you know I've seen one on the eBay store sell for a hundred and seven dollars for M390 full titanium and Timascus strips, guys, I'm not making this up. I did not have the money to buy that one at the time. But I did get real lucky and see White Mountain Knives have them in stock. I didn't even know they were getting an order. These were just two knives I was trying to make you guys aware of before they sold out. I do think these Finch knives will be sold out by mid-February. Finch is very popular. And this knife material is very rare on knives. So I don't think they're going to last very long. Not the two Karenite versions. There is a version like this and a version that's kind of reverses the collars in a way. In this one, you have the kind of gray and black as the resin, as you can see there in the light, how it kind of glimmers. The other one, the red is the glimmer and there's more black in here. It doesn't necessarily look exactly the same, but I really like this one because it reminded me of Darth Vader in a way, um, who is one of my favorite, not just in Star Wars, but one of my favorite just characters in general of any movie of all time. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> that's all I wanted to say today, guys. I was just trying to help you guys be aware that these are out there. I try whenever there's insanely good value and an insanely good deal or very rare things. I try to let people on my channel know about it if I find them fast enough. And <clears throat> these are definitely good deals, good values, 100%. Um, now, if you're somebody out there who's against Maine and China stuff, you're probably not going to like this. Um, but as far as the Finch go, I mean, you are supporting technically two American companies buying the Finch knife because you're supporting traditional pocket knives, which is a veteran owned knife distributor that gets money from the sale. So, <clears throat> and you're supporting the owner of Finch, which I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he has an Instagram and he's also an American. So it's kind of how you want to look at that. Now, this, besides supporting the White Mountain Knives page, of course, this is pretty much full China here, which I don't have a problem with, but I know some people do, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, guys, reviews of these knives will come eventually. I <laughs> They are going to be very positive reviews, I can already tell you that, because I've already carried them both, and, you know, this one definitely has some weight to it, but... I'm going to expect that from that thick of titanium. It just, it's going to happen on this one. This thing is just, 
especially for its size. It's it's nice. <clears throat> it's got a very good weight. But I expect nothing less from Finch. Finch is a great company in the knife community. I hope they continue to do this Kira Knight. And when they do, I will try to let you know, as I'll probably get one. Um, but yeah, with that, enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Um, I'll be posting my knife collection video hopefully next week. Me being very sick this last week definitely put a damper in that. Um, I know it's a probably my favorite video that everybody likes to see me do uh, last year it was my number one watched video so definitely <clears throat> gonna be doing that every year <laughs> but um yeah with that i'll let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your week